Hey guys, it's Queen Ninja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ruby's episode 16 of Fire Force. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Makes me want soda. Thank you. Oh, yeah. It's really hard on it, though. Damn, though, God, like Jesus. So good. They literally are the like the cutest family ever. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm, good question. So we literally just given them the, the Giovanni situation and stuff. But I'm, you know what? No, I think they wanted to show this part first to essentially the fact that the episode is called for a family. But I think later in the episode, we're going to see, you know, what exactly happened with that Giovanni situation because, bruh, like, girl wants to know and such. Same thing with Victor because last week, I think, because I did say in the beginning, like, all of us, including myself, literally forgot about Victor and then I remembered like towards the end of the episode about him that he was in other episodes but I mean come on man I just mm. Mm. it just makes you wonder like who else besides Victor and the other dude is secretly in these groups and like I don't know you can't really trust anybody only like certain freaking people
Yes, the same thing that you guys are doing in LA. I mean, I still get the reason why, because essentially he doesn't really trust them. But I mean, you know, nobody ain't gonna kill you if you go with them. <laughs> well, no. I kind of take that back, though. Pushing or what are you gonna do? You, you sure you don't want to call Obi and the rest of them to come? Because I mean, they could possibly come. You would be a part of it, too. So then there's a possibility everyone at 40 is a part of that. See, that's why I said you can't trust no fucker up in this. Like, no. It's like freaking... This is an attack on Titan. Like, I can barely trust people now. Oh. Damn, they surrounded the whole fucking place. Y'all screwed. What is she in a line, motherfucker? There's got to be a reason why, you know, Giovanni's working with them. You know, maybe, I don't know, blackmail possibly? They have something on Gio? Or maybe fuck you, he just won't be a bad guy? I literally know shit.
<laughs> but it's only really two of them, and they ain't got nothing with them. This is why the three of them should have came with extra freaking people. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh my god. You know, if he said away, I would have been done. <laughs> hmm. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you feel like an ass, don't you? Yes. It's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye, donkey. You're an ass. Hey, <laughs> oh. hey. 
At least Arthur tried. Like, he put up a really good fight, so applaud him. Yeah, good to show too. But and the family needs to stay together, right? See, I feel like by the end of this, he is possibly going to get taken. Or Shinra's going... Because, like, right now, Shinra's currently knocked out. There's going to be a point where Shinra's going to wake the heck up. And he's going to possibly be able to not only save, you know, Valkyrie, but really everyone. Lisa, what the hell? This bitch a traitor. You've been watching over him ever since, haven't you? Because you're a part of it too. That's why her behind ain't even in the opening. See, I knew I knew there was something off about her. I couldn't figure out what it was. Uh, look, uh, since the fact that we now know truly that she ain't a part of your ass, I don't really think she gives a flying fuck about you. True. See, that's why you shouldn't offer strength to ride anything, because you never know what the fuck gonna happen.
You sure about that? No, he ain't gonna die though, but still. It's a possibility he doesn't really know where it is. It could be in that thing. Okay, um, I, I, I'm i going to say this real quick. Giovanni, like, okay. He reminds me a lot of, I don't remember his name. It's one of the captains from the 13 Core Guard um, squads for freaking Bleach. It's the one that always like to do experiments. They are very similar. But the thing is, I like the guy from Bleach a lot more than, the, than Giovanni. Giovanni just... Oh, he rubs me the wrong way. He's rubbed me ever since last week. And it's just like, if you could punch someone in the face, he's one of them. Also, Joffrey from Game of Thrones, because everybody knows how I fucking feel about that dude. And, and then a couple other anime characters that, like, secretly, I would love to just punch in the face because they need that wake-up call. But, I mean, I'm not even surprised about the Lisa thing because of the fact is, like, she felt where something was off about her last week. And because of the fact is that we had the new opening last Friday, and then you're looking at it again this week, and she's not in the opening, that kind of made sense. So I was thinking either one or two things. She part of the, you know, of the um this cult and stuff, or she might die by the end of this. And that's why essentially she's not in the opening. But okay, yeah, she she a part of this. And, see, and that just shows you, moral of the story, end of the day, you can't trust anyone not even yourself, because sometimes you're just going to screw with yourself, too. You end up being a traitor, and then you could like, oh my god, like what the heck just happened? Yeah, like, what did I just do wrong? So you can't trust anybody, not even yourself. You know, um, well, there are times where you can just, yeah, trust yourself, but, you know, sometimes in the world of anime, you can't even trust your own instincts. Sometimes you can just trust your friends, your inner circle, but his inner circle screwed him over in the end because this tiny cut little family that he's made throughout his life after you know having a tragic event with both his uh grandfather and his father passing away and not having anyone else but then meeting both you and lisa because both of them i'm essentially has possibly had travesties in their life like they they've gone a little bit on lisa from last week's episode but for me for you i feel like 
they, they kind of did a little bit of this, but I barely really remember it. And I don't think they really went a little more in depth with it. So since you was going to possibly be around a little bit longer, because I, I mean, he ain't going to die. He's in the opening. So, you know, he's like, he's not a main character, but he's still going to be, you know, essentially for uh, Volkan's arc, he's going to be in a, an important character for his story. So I'm hoping that like, you know, maybe after a couple episodes after this episode, we do get a little more backstory on you because he seems like really an important character. And I think he's going to have more to do a little more to do with the, the plot and the overall story for this series. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I mean, you know, <laughs> we're not even close to the halfway point of this show. And I, I feel like, you know, it, it's going to get darker. Maybe by like episode 25, maybe even 24, there's going to be a point where somebody, and, and I was hoping that like, because um, they didn't do this for Darling. And anytime when I look at an anime where it has a whole bunch of characters, not like I and I ain't gonna talk about my hero for it. But anytime when I look at look at an anime that has a whole lot of characters and it starts light and stuff, and then maybe like two or three seasons, then it slowly but surely gets dark. And the difference is we're only on episode sixteen, and this show was starting to get a little more darker and darker throughout every span of every single episode. And, I mean, yeah, we can count the bad guys as a death, but the thing I want truly is that someone out of these good guys, usually around the halfway point, 24, 25, or even 26, somebody dies. And essentially that, because I, I feel like by the time we get to being done with this show, because I think the show is about 50 episodes and it's not going to be done until next year, somebody is going to die. There's going to be a couple of characters, I could say maybe three to five characters, that are possibly not going to make it to season two. Don't, or as of right now, essentially, I don't know who. I could say Victor, possibly, because, yes, he is the bad guy, and he, you know, automatically, bad guys do have to die, so essentially new bad guys, higher-ups, will possibly come in and be more badass than the previous. So I can also see um, Shinra's brother also dying by the end of this series, going into season two, possibly. I, I really don't know, but, like, I just... I, I want to see a little more depth in the show because we're we're going into we're going back and forth between the lightheartedness of the show and the funniness of the show and how they can't sometimes they take themselves a little too serious and not like not immediately like seriously all the time because I mean the moment with <laughs> with drinking Arthur wearing a strap on donkey like I, I come on we all laughed at that I mean I could stop laughing at it even when there were moments of him being serious and I'm like. I can't take you seriously with this strap on donkey head <laughs> on your legs and stuff. Like, come on, man. But, I mean, there, there's a lot of dark coming into this show, and I do like it a lot because especially with the episode with uh, Shinra and uh, Tamaki, that was, like, one of the darkest highlight moments of the first half of this show. And it's just going to get better and better. And so, I ain't going to know. We ain't going to know until the rest of this freaking show goes. And finishes until season two possibly comes out next year maybe we don't know other than that guys that is my reaction to it's episode 16 of fire force if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the match squad and of course i will see you guys with y'all next friday for episode 17 bye guys <laughs>